Hello everyone, welcome back to Subnautica. So in the previous episode, we figured out how to hatch these eggs. Um, and then when we found all this stuff. So now we gotta actually make the hatching enzyme to do so. I know where most of the stuff is, or like, yeah, I do know where it is. It's just a matter of getting to it right now. So I'm fairly certain... I'm going to have to hang here for a second. But I'm fairly certain... What is that noise? Oh, it's... What is that noise? Um. Anyways, but I'm fairly certain these portals up here... All right, go to them real quick. So there are six portals. And I need five things from them. So I'm going to just start going to them. Seeing if I can get the stuff. Luckily, most of the stuff I kind of know... So if one of the portals seems to be close, I should be able to reach it. Like, be able to get this stuff, so. Oh, yes. Perfect. I need you. Okay. Then what else? Right, right here. So, I got the bull bush. Now I need the ghost weed. Fungal sample. The crown and eye stock, which I don't think... Yeah, nope. I don't know. So the fungal sample is the main issue. I think the crown, the crown one actually might be over here. Yes. Yes. All right. So now I got the fungal samples. Okay. Now the only issue I have is the uh, what's what's this? okay the uh, the crown plant or whatever it's whatever the thing is. The only thing I. Have. Not 100% certain where it is. Right there. So this boil, let me just... Nope. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. You didn't see anything. Okay. So... What else do I need? So the sea crown and the eye stock. I know where the eye stock is. I don't really know where the sea crown is. I know what it looks like, so if I saw it, I'd probably recognize it. But I'm not 100% certain as to... Oh, I forgot this isn't the... I'm not in water. I'm not 100% certain where it's found, so I might have to look that up, for being honest, but... I don't want to spend hours trying to freaking find it, so... Okay, and I assume that this next portal will probably teleport me to the eye stock or something. And I gotta figure out where the crown is. Ate those things. Freaking crabby boys. For some reason the aliens that was a good idea just to make some of their own. I already hate it. I already hate it so much. I hate this. What are you? You an eye stock? Yes. Thank you. Yeah, see, now I never would have guessed that. So apparently the sea crown is just in this freaking place. I mean, actually, I probably would have guessed it. Emperor, sea emperor, sea crown, like that. Eventually, I would have started looking there, but I wouldn't have thought of looking. It would have been, I would have looked here last. I would have gone to every single biome. I mean, this is if I'm, like, really wanting to freaking not... Like, if I really want to do this without any help from anything, but that's not happening. So, usually they're down in these cracks. Um, usually. Yeah, there's one right there. Two, really. Whoa. Let's go. It goes down, dude. It goes down. I have never... Whoa. I have never been down here before. The plant life in this area is growing outside its normal conditions. Other life forms fertilizing and pruning the vegetation may be offsetting this environmental deficit. I have never been down here. I'm not losing oxygen either. Okay, I thought it was going to be better, but... Okay. Why? I don't get why you have to be there all the time.
Oh my gosh. I don't I don't get why. It always for some reason it targets me when I'm in there. It like it really freaks out and starts going after me. Okay, I don't want to clip into the ground. Boom. And boom. Alright. So I'm going to have to use you as a uh, catapult. Wow. I'm bugging out. All right. Oh, shoot. So they've been ready to hatch for like thousands of years, I guess. Hundreds at least, at least hundreds of years, so. All I had to do was make that enzyme that I have a feeling the precursors maybe would have been able to figure that out if they really took their time. I don't know. Whatever. How cute. No. My young are swimming for the shallows. I thank you. Their freedom is my end. What will it be like, I wonder, to go to sleep and never wake up? Perhaps next we meet, I will be an ocean current, carrying seas to a new land. Or a creature so small, it sees the gaps between the grains of sand. Farewell, friend. Depression. Anyways, so this enzyme that they drop. Can I scan it first? No. So I'm gonna do another self scan, see if anything that just has infected on my thing. I'll take my gloves off because of this. Who's trying to cures you? <laughs> nice. So now I'm no longer infected and they're just producing, they pretty much, they just left and went through that portal. So now they, uh, they're going to just produce that. Um, see, I don't really know how they'd be able to cure an entire planet though, that's the thing. Yeah, so they're just swimming around, just crapping out this Amazon, which is good, I guess. <laughs> okay, so um I guess now I have to build the rocket. Um I guess actually first thing, the reason why this portal is so close should be super convenient for this, I guess. I don't know what I just grabbed, but okay. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it there. Whoever designed this facility is not smart whatsoever. Alright. If I scan stuff in here, like if I scan this thing. So I shut down the gun. 
I pretty much, I think I just deactivated the quarantine on the planet. So now I shouldn't get shot down when I build my rocket. Ugh, now now I have to bring the Cyclops back up here. So that's gonna be fun. Alright, how do I make the rocket a landing pad? Two titanium ingots, computer chip, and a bunch of lead. Boom. So, plasteel ingot and copper wire. That's lube. Yeah, this is gonna... Oh my gosh, that's gonna annoy me. But this is... It's gonna be pretty boring, because I won't be surprised if I have most of the materials, so I'm just gonna be running back and forth. Okay. Another plasteel ingot. Oh gosh. Some nickel ore, aerogel. The advanced wiring kit? Just a wiring kit, okay. Nice. Yep, I need some crystalline sulfur. Kyanite and ion power cells, which I do have. None of the sulfur that I'm worried about. Okay. Other plus still you can get a Cylops shield generator, a Cyops Cyclops shield generator. I don't have the knowledge of that. Like actually I don't I don't know how to make that. That is annoying. That is super freaking annoying. Um. Okay. Cool. I just have it doing this. Sure. Um. <laughs> sure. That's so cool looking. Well, um. Time to get into the pink rocket and fly off. Yeah, there's there's not really anything else to do. I mean, there are other things I could do, but, like, there's nothing important to do. Like, this is... This is the last thing to do for the game. So, like, story-wise at least, so... Um, everything should already be on, so... What did I just hear? Well, let's let's go. Ready to launch on your command, Captain. Do it. Launch in ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hi. 
I'm Capsule Jettison. Caution. Approaching orbital debris field. That's intense. Debris field clear. Performing gravity turn maneuver. Confirm destination coordinates. Nearest interstellar phase gate. Engaging ion boosters in three, two. One. What is a wave without the ocean? A beginning without an end. They are different, but they go together. Now you go among the stars, and I fall among the sand. We are different, but we go together. That's pretty good. I freaking love this game. Well, that was that was fun. I most likely will end up playing um, Below Zero. Not immediately. I might wait a little bit um, to play it. Just be like take a little bit of a break because it's mechanics are exact same. Like it feels like playing exact same game, so I don't want to just go straight into it. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you in the next one.